welcome and welcome back to the channel my name is Brittany and thank you for spending a little time with me today in today's video I will be discussing McCall 7910 it is a jumpsuit variation pattern you can kind of make your own uh, so I did bodice 3 and pants 6 it was really easy to sew um, it does have lining but the bodice is the only part that's lined and whatever you do to the bodice you do it to the lining so fairly easy uh, there's no zippers, no buttons. The only thing I would add is I wish it had pockets. So I do plan on sewing it again and I will add pockets uh, to it. So like I said, I did bodice three and it is a one shoulder bodice. So the pattern did say to ease stitch and at the time I did ease stitch but I was like, what is the point of this? So the point was to kind of gather it in uh, and make it fit a little snug around the chest area. So mine does not do that. It's kind of loose uh, right here on the chest. So what I did was I just wear it off the shoulder. So I would definitely say that this pattern is very beginner friendly for anyone out there because it does not have any zippers or anything. Uh, so let's get into the video. Okay, so I've already cut out my pattern pieces and I have each stitched on the sides. So the first step is to pin the front bodice piece to the back bodice piece at the side seams. And I know the lining fabric doesn't really match <laughs> doesn't match um, the main fabric color but that's what I had so I also have my lining piece together at the sides and then I'm gonna go stitch along the sides for both pieces with right sides together I'm going to pin the main fabric to the lining fabric. Okay, so now I'm going to go and stitch from here all around and stop and then from here all around and stop. Okay, so right now I'm going to understitch, and all that means is I'm going to um, stitch very close to my previous stitch, but I'm going to stitch on the lining piece. Okay, so now that I have the top understitched, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on the right side. Okay, so now I have pressed all around the garment and then it says to uh, pin the shoulder seams together. So I guess I'm gonna do it like this. A little awkward, but okay. And also, uh, I'm gonna keep the lining part free. So when I stitch across here, I'm not gonna stitch my lining pieces. And then I'm also going to base uh, this all around the bottom edge while I'm at the machine as well. Okay, now that I have this sewn together, it tells me to slip stitch the pressed edge over the seam. But I must have cut my lining pieces to look too short. So I'm going to seam rip the sides a little bit and then I will just stitch across the lining piece like I did the bodies and then I'm going to uh, slip stitch the sides. Okay, so I just sewed across here and then I'm going to flip it to the inside. So I slip stitch this close and I also do it on the other side as well just 
fold it and slip stitch it and make sure I give it a good press. Okay, so I'm done slip stitching. It didn't come out too bad, so hopefully it'll stay on the inside and I gave it a good press. So now it's time to work on the pants. So I'm going to take the back pants, one of the back pants leg, and one of the front pants leg. And I'm going to find my notches. And I'm going to do this for both pants leg. Okay, so I'm going to go and sew here and I'm going to do my other pants leg just like that. Okay, so now that I have the pants leg uh, stitched together, I'm going to take each one, finding my notches, and I'm going to pin in this curve. Oh, can you see it? Okay, now I'm going to pin in this curve. So like I said, I'm going to go and do a double stitch all around and basically I'm just going to stitch twice. So now that I have the crotch seam um, stitched, I'm going to find my front and back notches and pin those together along the side seam. Okay, so I'm going to go sew along uh, the sides of both pants leg. Okay, and so now I'm just going to hem the bottom of the pants. The last step is to attach the bodice to the pants. So with right sides together, I'm gonna to stick the bodice piece inside. And I should have, ooh. Okay, I should have two notches for the front and two notches right here in my pants indicated for the front. So I'm going to pin. And of course, I want to match up my seams, the side seams that is. Okay, so then I'm going to go and sew around. So let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will be sewing this again, but I will be adding pockets and like always be blessed.